Favorite Piano Adventures, levels 3A, pages 20 and 21. The song is called Scarborough Affair. And we're learning a new time signature in this piece. We're used to 4-4 four, four time. We just did cut time, and now we're doing 3-8 time. Which means there are three beats in every measure. And the 8 at the bottom of the 3-8 means the 8th note gets one beat instead of a half a beat. So actually, we've increased its value by a half, so now we have to increase the values of all the other notes by a half. So a quarter note was equal to one, but now it's worth two. A dotted quarter was worth one and a half, but if you double that, it's worth three, and so forth. So we're doubling note values now, and we're only counting to three in every measure. Remember, eighth notes get one beat. I'm gonna play this song, and then we'll talk about the details Let's find our position. Left hand, we're going to be starting bass C, move up one note to D, E, F, G, A. And then right hand, we're actually going to be in a D position as well. It's not middle C, just move over one to D, E, F, G, A. There's pedal in this piece, so watch out. Some crossing over, and we're going to move up an octave, so be ready for that. Let's listen to the piece. Okay, now let's talk about this piece a little bit. We've got these repeating chords in the left hand that we're playing quite a bit. So we're playing the D minor chord. We're playing that one, we go back. So we're just going back and forth with that for a while. Then we shift over here to a G chord, and then we switch back. Play a few notes, and you'll notice the fingerings are going to change. So you need to pay close attention to the fingering in this piece. So I'm going to talk about that with the right hand first. Watch as I play. So I'm playing one to five. Right here, I just finished the bottom of page 20. Now watch, my pinky was on A. I'm gonna take my pointer, and I'm gonna stretch it up and get it to A so I can play the next part. Let me stay here, but if you look at my hand, watch this. My thumb moves over to F, then we play F and D, there's the interval, two and four, now watch the fingering again. Two, three on the same note. Two, one, crush your third finger over, and then play one on C. Move back up to D. Here we go again, crossing over, but leave your thumb on the D. Hold it, then we move up an octave. D, A, G, E, and then D and F sharp. Okay? Left hand's pretty simple. We're just playing these chords. Okay, I'm going through it kind of fast here. Hold on. We get to the part where it changes. Let me do this. Now we gotta switch our second finger. One and five. Shift back over to D position. Keep it here. Two, three, four, and then back to the chords. Pretty simple, but there is some fingering changes, so I want you to pay attention to that. Watch those fingering changes in both hands, otherwise you're going to have a problem. Remember, try to bring down the volume at the end, okay? Make it a little more dramatic, and hold out your fermata at the end when you hit it. Other than that, I don't think you're going to have any problems, so that was Scarborough Fair, and uh, I hope you have a good time with it.